now that I'm done with my LLM degree, the next goal is to pass the New York bar, which will take place in short of two months from now. I'm not doing so well. I've been struggling to keep up with the study plan of my bar prep course. See the red flag down here? I'm really not doing well. I don't know, there's just a lot to take in. Just gotta power through. For those of you who are not familiar with the New York bar exam, it is an exam that you must take and pass after graduating law school if you want to become a practicing lawyer in the state of New York. The exam lasts two days, tests you on 12 different subjects. It consists of both multiple choice questions as well as essay questions. And typically, a bar examinee would have about eight weeks to prepare for the entire exam. Long story short, this is not an easy task. On top of that, I also lost two weeks to COVID. So this is the story of me trying to catch up. Now, because I never took any of those 1L fundamental classes, I had to now learn black letter law from scratch by watching all those online lectures, doing basic exercises and whatnot. Not gonna lie, most of the days I felt like I wasn't pushing the needle at all. And I had to like kind of trick my mind into thinking, ooh, I've made progress today so that I could go to bed and wake up and do it all over again. Take a quick moment and shout out to Professor Paula Francisi. Her lectures are so much fun to watch. I just really appreciate it when someone makes an effort to try to help other people, even if it's a tedious job. By the way, I'm playing this video on 1.5 speed just because I want to save time on lecture. For some reason, my upstairs neighbor decided to redo their flooring, so um, I was basically forced out of my apartment to the library. This is my first time inside a business school library and it was a fancy one too. Better yet, I found those rooms on the mezzanine where you could basically have the space all to yourself unbothered. That's an absolute godsend. After a couple days of full-time studying, I felt like it wasn't sustainable to just keep going. So I treated myself to a staycation and splurged $400 a night at the Standard Hotel in downtown. The view was stunning. Something about the close proximity to the river and the empty space in front of the hotel that just made me feel at peace. Summer in New York City can feel pretty crowded and hot and humid like the Hell's Front Porch, but staying in that tiny room up on the 15th floor back against the wooden panel, it was like enjoying the view of the city from somewhere else. goodness, I just selected New York City as my test location for the bar exam. Yes! 
So, like I said, I was struggling to keep up with the study plan of my bar prep course. And even to this day, I don't feel comfortable sharing my bar prep routine because it was just crappy. But if I have to name something that was always helpful, it was hands down working out. Running, weight training, or even just a quick walk outside. It doesn't matter what form it takes, you just gotta step out for some fresh air from time to time. So in the month leading up to the New York bar exam, I didn't really vlog much because obviously I spent most of my time studying, working out for the sake of my sanity, dressed up once just to make myself feel good, and I kept a healthy, nutritious diet sometimes. It rained more, constructions went on incessantly, and I kept marching on, cramming, memorizing, doing mock exams while being frustrated about the abysmal results. Day in and day out until... Okay, I'm going in. Wish me luck.